Hi there, Aquarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I do a reading for you, Aquarius, for the week of March 20th. If you like this video, Aquarius, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you'd like a personal reading from me, all of that information is in the description box below. This is a general reading for the sign of Aquarius anywhere in your chart. Or if you're just checking in on an Aquarius, you're welcome here, but it might not resonate with all of you. Let's get right into it, Aquarius. Let's get you a moon oracle card. Bring love into the situation, the new moon in Aquarius. Yes. <laughs> There's something new coming into you. And work through your fears, the new moon in Scorpio. Definitely something new with these new moons coming in, Aquarius. Let's see. Let's see what that's all about. Let's get you an animal spirit card for up in the ether for Aquarius. Who's a fire ant? Wow, look at this. Very busy um, and a little fired up about something. And the elephant, another fire card, uh, but gaining some wisdom, gaining some spiritual wisdom and your third eye chakra opening up. Third eye opening up to love because of that beautiful pink in there. All right, what else? What else? Feeling a little stung by something. What kind of Zen Tarot is up in the ether for Aquarius? Zen Tarot card for Aquarius. Let's see. Aquarius, what's going on? Playfulness. Look at this. The Page of Wands coming out. <laughs> Feeling playful. I like that. At the bottom of the deck, celebration with the Three of Cups. Oh, Aquarius. It's like you're fired up about something or you're irritated about something or you think something's not going to work out, but it's gaining momentum and it's going to uh, open up for you. It's going to burst right open for you. All right, Aquarius, I'm using my good tarot, tarot deck this morning. Let's see what they have to say for Aquarius. What is on your mind? What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? Aquarius, what are you thinking about? Oh my God, the King of Water. I'm loving this. My Aquarius card coming out, and even though it's a cup card, <laughs> ancient wisdom coming through for you, Aquarius. Some kind of valuable lesson learned here. It's over. That lesson is over. What else? What else in the mind space for Aquarius? The moon. Look at this. You've been using your intuition, using your guides to help you through something, something that's been a little prickly or a little bit um, stung you a little bit. And now you're coming into some more knowledge about it, some learning about it, some definitely some understanding about it. But you're feeling very emotional. You're really emotional. What else? Another cup card, another water card, but it's the three of cups, the same cup as the same card as the Zen tarot card with the three of celebration. Interesting, interesting. Look at this water, all this emotional energy coming through for you and the eight of water walking away from something, letting it go. Wow, wow, wow. So you're releasing right now. You're having this um, massive release coming into you to help you walk away from some things from the past. What's in the heart space for Aquarius? What's going on? What is Aquarius feeling about this walking away? Walking away from the pack. The five of earth. Look at this. You're feeling very kind of on your own on this journey, alone on this journey. So you're walking away from something or someone and you're gaining some independence. You're gaining some insight on it, but there's no closure here. You haven't had closure on this yet. Two of earth because you're still in and out of it. You're still trying to decide, should I walk away from this or should I give it another another try. <laughs> we'll get the energy around you, Aquarius, but there's a decision here, and I'm not sure if it's about someone in your life or something in your life, but you're in decision mode. I'm feeling kind of alone in this, but you're moving away from it. Look at this with the six of fire. You're absolutely moving away from this situation into calmer waters so that you can kind of release some of this emotion when it comes to thinking about it. 
Look at this with the hermit. Wow, you've been really very, very much solo mode here, walking away on your own, gaining some independence, gaining some insight. Um, you feel a little stung by something in the past. So you're just, you're just moving away from it. You're just walking away from it. You're not looking back at it. You're not trying to study it. You're not even trying to clear up the confusion about it. You're simply walking away from something, letting it go. You're really letting something go. What's this all about? What is Aquarius letting go here? Uh, what is this all about in the foundation for Aquarius? Oh, <laughs> Look at the magic you are bringing in for this. You are the master now, the magician now. Because you were able to walk away from something, even if you just energetically cut the cord of something here, it just didn't bother you anymore. You just didn't care anymore. It's just, I've been thinking about this too long. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to uh, think about something else here. That is magician energy uh, that you are conjuring here. Wow, look at this with the chariot. My God, Aquarius, you are walking away from this. You are not looking back. Wow, this is beautiful in your foundation. You are really, really merging the energies here, letting go of some kind of sorrow, something that didn't work out, some kind of grand disappointment. You're walking into a new dream, a new idea, a new relationship, a new a beginning here, for sure, for sure, walking away from something that just kind of stung. What else in the foundation for Aquarius spirit? What else for Aquarius? <laughs> Look at this major arcana. This is huge for you, Aquarius. It brings in the sun. It brings in the light. It brings in the solace that you've been looking for. No more heartache over this. No more thinking about it. It's really finally time to cut that tie and move into something different. Move into something new here. Even if it's on your own, it is way better than that. It is way better than the continual disappointment that you were feeling in something or with someone you just couldn't get what you needed out of it you couldn't get what you wanted out of it two of air two of swords that crossroads that decision making with the two of earth there you're blocking yourself you're blocking yourself from walking away you have some tie there something that keeps making you look back but it's not in your higher interest to look back. It is time to really, really let go of this Aquarius and move on and get into something new. The newness here is calling you. It's just um, saying goodbye. It's just saying goodbye. I'm not dealing with you anymore. I'm not um, thinking about you anymore. No more taking up time even in your mind space here of thinking about it in your mind. You've moved on already here. So, wow, I'm loving this independence you are gaining from whatever it was that stung you, that hurt you in the past here. You're really, really going inside, going deep, following your own inner light. Of course you are. Look at this with the nine of fire. Really following your own inner light now, your own guidance. It's like the teacher has gone away or the teacher has retired. You've stepped up into this leader teacher role here where um, you're taking control of it. You're, you're not letting this sting you anymore. You've got the salve. You've got the balm to really soothe that. So beautiful. So beautiful. You found this kind of healing um, salve for yourself here to move away from that, to let it go. Look at this with the Ace of Pentacles in the externals around you, a new gift coming to you, a new uh, surprise out of the blue, something tangible, something you can hold, a gift, a gift for you for making it through to the end here, making it through that finish line here and walking through that glorious gate um, of accomplishment because you've let something else go, some kind of past disappointment, you've let it go. Yeah, look at this with the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Somebody put a lot of burden on you, a lot of responsibility on you. They put it all on you to um, deal with the finances, to deal with the relationship. You put everything you had into it, everything that you had into it. Aquarius, you have no regrets here. It's just time to lay the burden of it down and to move into something new. Something new is absolutely calling you here, but it's time to lay the burden of the past down. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. You can't move forward with it. Four of Swords. Look at all these healing cards, though. Healing from the past. Healing from um, emotions that really um, got overwhelming. It was just you were so overwhelmed with emotion. And now you're laying some of it down. You're just releasing it. You cried it out. You screamed it out. And now you're catching your breath again. You're, you're absolutely stumbling along. You're not quite healed yet. You're not in full. Rehab is not over for you. <laughs> but... 
it is in your mind space and that will change everything for you. So it's like you have come out of some kind of um, um, rehab here where you had to really manage your emotions here. It got very overwhelming with your emotions. You manage them and now you're moving into something new. Ooh, the Queen of Cups under the King of Cups. That's complete balance in the emotional arena, giving yourself that cup of love, giving yourself the understanding and the nourishment and the love that will get you through to this next cycle here. I love this. With the Major Arcana, this is really, really big change here. You're shifting into something new here, Aquarius. And it, it helps you to see things a lot more clear than when we're in the midst of it. When we're in the uh, dust cloud of it, it's so hard to see. It's like that thick fog. Nothing will cut through that energy. It's just so harsh and dense and uh, heavy. But you found something. You found a lighter or some kind of light to guide you through. Some kind of hope. Some kind of hope. A wish. A wish that you started making. I wish it could be different. I wish it could be like this. I wish it could be like that. And you started creating this new kind of outcome. And it changes everything. I think you're coming out of that. I think you are with the emperor coming into the heart space really bossing up now, really taking control, getting your self-esteem back, getting your confidence back, and that changes everything. Now you're just ready to go. You're ready to travel somewhere. There's always travel that comes up with you. You're always wanting to go somewhere or see something new. Page of Cups, look at these offers coming to you, apologies coming to you. <laughs> I think that helps to soothe the wounds here, but it's not enough. Some, some of these things should have happened in the past. They should have come long ago and they just didn't. Somebody got all up in their head. Um, ego took over and they didn't want to look stupid or foolish or um, like a failure. So they really got their ego up and, um, and it got your self-confidence down. So there was this push me, pull me of energy trying to burst ahead, trying to burst through. But you overcame that. And this person is really, really starting to grow up, starting to understand what they have done to you or what they've put you through here. And so there's apologies coming. But I don't know if that's just too late. I think you've just moved on. I think you just let it go. Six of Wands. Wow, look at this honoring of your independence here. And the Ten of Cups. There's a happy family, a happy group, a happy environment because of this letting go. So maybe this was a coworker that just really got under your skin or, um, no, it was deeper than that. It was a relationship. It was a soulmate energy that really, really dented your self-confidence here. They just were very critical or very, um, overbearing, wanted you to do it their way, wanted you to, um, really conform, conform here. And you are not about conforming. You are a leader. So I think you just pushed that energy aside and said, um, I've got, I've got to go. I've got to go. <laughs> Look at this judgment coming into the foundation here. Things that were not revealed before are coming to light now. I think that's why you're able to walk away because you're realizing a lot more went on than what you even knew here. So what was dead is now awakened. And that has to do with truth and this person's ego. So yeah, they're just kind of getting in their own way, absolutely getting in their own way. They want to come back to you. They want to honor you and put you back up on a pedestal, but you're on someone else's pedestal now. You're standing tall in someone else's um, house <laughs> and you walked away. You really, really walked away from it. So it doesn't matter what kind of truth they try to bring to you now. There's some, somebody here trying to reconcile and it, it doesn't matter for you. It's just, you know, an Aquarius is like that. Once you're done, you're done. And, and you can't, you have a very, very hard time changing your mind about things. So, which is beautiful. It's beautiful because people have to earn your respect, Aquarius. They can't just step in and tell you their story. You have to feel them and you have to study them and you have to observe them and see them in their own story here. You can't just take their word for it. But they're in a crossroads, two of swords. They know what they've done in the past really hurt you and really took away some of your pride in trying to get theirs up. They, they put you down here in some way, shape or form. You've moved on from it. You're walking away from it. You are mentally or energetically at least cutting that cord because it was way too heavy, way too dark um, to try to get through here. So now they're stepping up. They're getting their pride in the way because you're not accepting this apology or you're not accepting their truth because you have your own truth here of what happened. So it's just a time to um, 
to make the decision here to really, really move on. And they've got to understand that um, you don't always get forgiveness. You don't always get that. So be careful of the choices that you're making, especially when it comes to an Aquarius, because you're very, very perceptive. You are so smart when it comes to energy Aquarius. You can see a, a, a liar coming a mile away. You can feel it. You just know it with every fiber of your being that something is not right with this. You knew it with this person in the past. You could feel it. You could um, um, just almost tell you tell them their own story here and what they were trying to get away with. You understood it very, very deeply. Things that they could not understand at the time. Now they're coming into these understandings. They want to offer you that apology. They want to tell you, I should have honored you. I should have put you up on that pedestal instead of riches or money or other people. Or there was just some focus away from you. Well, as soon as they did that, you made the decision to move away from them, walk away into this new experience, and it's really leaving them flailing. Now they just don't know what to do, but you're moving into such happier, calmer times here. Travel is in your future. It always is. So you're planning this big trip, this big getaway. It's a freedom trip. It's a an honoring of you. And it's just so beautiful. You're coming into a brand new time here, brand new cycle for you. So whatever it is you were experiencing in the past, that is done. It's, it's said and done and you are moving on from it after a little period of rest here. So I love it. I love this Aquarius moving on, moving on into celebration, into much more playful times. You're, you're laughing a lot more now. You're, you're connecting a lot deeper now. And so these jokes, these satires, these um, little playful comments are coming across exactly right. And it eases the mood and everyone around you is feeling much, much easier to be able to joke with you and to be able to laugh with you maybe about some of these things that happened in the past. So love this. All right, Aquarius, I am going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Aquarius, I hope you have a fantastical week. I can feel that fire. Something's burning within you, so take advantage of that. It's beautiful. All right, I will definitely tune in with you soon.